Hey guys, this is Mike Young of Athletic Lab. In this first video of this series on agility training for team sport athletes, we're going to talk about some of the most common tests that we use to examine change of direction ability and agility. We're going to look at the 505 drill, the 510 5 drill, and the Y agility test. The first test we're going to look at is what's called the 505. In this one, Darian is going to run 15 meters out and 5 meters back. We're going to take a split in the last five meters of that 15 meter segment and the turnaround for five meters. We're gonna have her plant on the right leg first and then on a second attempt, after an appropriate amount of rest, we're gonna have her plant on the left leg and we're gonna look at the discrepancy between the two legs. Let's go, Darian. Go. Let's go again, Darian. Well done. We see Darian runs a 242 on this test and a 247 on the previous one. In this next test, we're going to look at the 5105. This is a super common test popularly used in NFL combine testing. What we're going to have Darian do is start in the gates when the gates flash solid green. That's going to be her indication that the gates are armed and ready to go. She's going to sprint five yards to the right, touch on the line, sprint 10 yards back to the other side, touch on the line on that side, and then come back through the gates for a final time. Once we've given Darian appropriate amounts of rest, we're gonna test the other side to see if there's any discrepancies between the right and the left. The 5105 is a great test for looking at change of direction abilities. Darian, let's go ahead and step into the gate. Well done. All right, we've given Darian about two or three minutes of rest. Now we're gonna to go to the left. Go ahead and step into the gates, Darian. Let's go. Now we're gonna look at the Y agility or the one, one, two test. In this one, Darian's gonna run 10 meters, react to a stimulus and have to choose a side. This is great for cognitive and reactive abilities. Darian, let's go ahead and step up and run our first trial. Go. Excellent. We're gonna run a couple trials here and have Darian run through, making sure that she sees a couple attempts at each side. That way we can know whether she is better at one side to the other. Darian, let's go ahead and take another one. Go. Well done, you can see Darian slightly faster going to the right than she is to the left. We've looked at three of our most commonly used agility and change of direction drills. The 505, the 5105, and the Y agility. The reality is that none of these tests are perfect and none of the other tests out there for agility and change of direction are. We need to make our test selection based off of the sport and what we're trying to look at in the test. Certain sports like the 5105 are very specific to American football, sometimes used in other sports. Other agility tests like the Y agility place a premium on being able to react to a stimulus. So are perhaps a little bit more specific to what we might see in the actual game. Are we concerned with change of direction physical capacities or our reactive abilities? Each test has specific considerations that we need to take into account. We need to look at both the right and the left side. So that's gonna mean that we give the athlete about two or three attempts going in each direction and forcing them to use both their dominant and non-dominant side. We wanna allow them to have about two minutes of rest in between attempts so that they're adequately rested to perform at the peak level. I'm gonna red flag athletes that have about a 10% or more discrepancy between their right and their left side. That might mean that they are predisposed to injuries. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure you check out the next video on fusionsport.com where we'll talk about how we break down agility and change of direction. Also stay connected with us by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.